Hang on, don't click off this video. If you're a big fan of games where you can place everything inside of a town and manage it in your own way and then get tourists to come to it, or you're a big fan of character creators where you can make almost anything you want, stay in this video. You know, if you're a big fan of those Animal Crossing games, then you might be interested in what I have to show you. That's right, today we are playing Critter Cove. Critter Cove is a game where you are hired by a mayor of a small town on an island to come and fix it up to get it into shape for a bunch of tourists to come so you can earn gold and profits. The thing that really sold me on this game was the character creator. You can literally make anything that you want. You can do a dragon, a cat, a wolf, a uh, Cthulhu. You can be a human. You can be a human that's a Frankenstein. How about a zombie? Is that going for you? A skeleton? You can do almost anything and customize it in any way that you want. You can also be TV, a robot. You can also be birds. And in the game currently, there are hundreds of different clothing to try. So you can also put your bird inside of a tuxedo, your rat inside of, you know, scraps. You can put your frog inside of a mech suit. I don't know. Do whatever you want. Character customization is insane. You can also mix and match them. Perhaps you want a bird that has deer antlers. You can do that in this game. Look at this. Look at this frog man with a wolf tail. Why? Why? Who wants to play that? You? Well, then pick up this game. All right, that's enough of the character customization. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And also leave a comment if you have anything you want to tell me. I read every single comment and I also reply to them all. Uh, also, you know, ask if you want something else played, if you want something else done on the channel. I am open to anything. So please leave a comment, like, subscribe. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What's up, YouTube? If I make this into a YouTube video, how's it going? Today we are back with Critter Cove. Look at this. I already went through the trouble of making a little otter. Look at that. Look at the little guy. Perfect. He's beautiful. Alright, so in this game, reminds me a lot of, like, Animal Crossing, where you... Come to a town, come to a come to an island, and you're gonna re repopulate it and re spruce it up, and it's just uh, it's it's a good time. And this is your this is your Tim what's what's his name Tim Nook whatever. You know the dude who just wants you to pay taxes and give him money. You know basically a terrible person. Crazy, I know. Wait, that's oh I almost threw away the official deed to house. That would have been that would have been awkward. Look at that. This is the house I'm going to live in. You want to know why I picked it? Because of the bell tower. Look at that bell tower up there. It's beautiful. Can't wait to live up there. Gotta go get some resources to upgrade my house. Because right now it's a dump. It is just it is just trash house for a trash person like me. One thing I really like about this game is that there is no concept of, like time restraints like you can you can stay up all night you can stay up all day you never actually have to go to bed you never have to actually do anything as long as you have energy you're fine also one of the great things about this is they have a sundari uh, lizard dude who just who just acts really angry at you but he he secretly loves you he loves you yeah, that's right you know who i am you heard the name good day okay he likes it when you stand up for yourself and you're a little, you know, aggressive back to him. It's fetish. It's kind of weird. You don't kink shame here. A little bit. I really like how they, uh... They programmed the different feet in the sand so you can, you can see what kind of feet you got. I obviously took off all my clothes right away because I think that the clothes in this game, some are really hit, some are really missed, but there are so many combinations of clothing and so many combinations of like character creator that it's just, it's insane. You can, you can literally be anyone or anything you want. You want to be a zombie, you want to be, you know, a robot, an otter, you just go do it. And that's crazy. That is just absolutely crazy. All right, that should fix up my house. It's going to look all purdy now. Look at this. Look at this thing go. 
It seems like a really big house too, compared to some of the other ones. They're like little back alley homes. This is a this is a big one. They're all the same size on the inside. But like mentally, I feel better about it, you know. Oh, I I glitched him into his door. My bad. He's gonna teach me how to use furniture, and he's also gonna teach you that all chests are connected in this game. Also, all chests are connected to you as long as you're in town. Which is really nice because that means that no matter where you are, you can like craft things in your inventory, which honestly, again, is just a quality of life feature that every game should learn from. Like this game, it's a little indie dev and it's like a weird like niche of like cozy, you know, animal crossing type thing. But some of the gameplay ideas in this are just insane. I don't like how my eyebrows are like a slightly lighter. Can I go inside of his like? Oh, I can't. All right, so I don't need this. It's an instruction booklet that like teaches you how to do stuff, but like eh, I'm not gonna forget. I, it's not like I don't know how to do these things. So we come in here, place this chair down. Ta-da! And then we don't really need. Food stuff or clothing or shells. And if we go over here, we can throw away things like this metal bucket, the glass, and the surfboard. I don't really need this either. The wood and the stone, though, might be good to keep on me. And the food. Unfortunately, the one thing that does not take from like chest inventory is cooking. Which Which I get. Like, that's fine. It's just. It's weird where that's where you're going to draw a line. Like, hey, this, you know, you can draw from all your inventory when you're crafting. Except for your cooking. It's like, okay, sure. Maybe that's a bug. Maybe that, maybe they'll fix that. I don't know. Be sure to pick up this here lawnmower. It's a secret tool that'll help us later. And the last person you should meet when you first start this game is uh, Ozempic Big the Cat. And there he is. See, he's lost quite a lot of weight, but and he's still okay. He's a cheerful guy. He uh, nothing seems to bother him, especially diabetes anymore, which is you know good for him. Good for him. I just want to keep gathering resources forever in this game. I see some uh, crates out there. They usually contain stuff like sugar and flour, which. I haven't really found like a great need for, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ignore it for now. All right, and this is uh, this is Copperbottom. He is your uh, your workshop manager, which will help you get set up for crafting and stuff. Uh, I don't know, he's just a robot. He says meat person a lot. He complains about how you don't have you know mechanical parts, which. It's weird since you can, in fact, become a robot in this game. So it's like, what if I was a robot? Would you be like, yeah, you're cool. You're cool. Get in. You know, like what? Oh, oh look at this. Now we're learning how to craft. That's right. I do not know how to do this. But, you know, when you play this game on your own, you read these things. You read these tutorials. You learn. You learn. Or if you know how to play video games, uh, it should be fairly straightforward. Right, can I make a wrench? Yes, I can. All right, here comes Sharky. You can see uh, he's coming down the beach to talk to me. Uh, this game, if the NPC wants to talk to you, they'll just come up to you and they'll just wave with a big old grin on their face. Like some sort of... Some sort of dummy, but you gotta admit, look at that smile. You can't, you can't turn that away. Ah, yes, he wants to help me make a boat. Isn't that exciting, fellas? Boat time. A lot of this game is about driving to different islands and like gathering resources from them to bring back to your island. Uh, and honestly, it's it's one of like the best mechanics in this game because if you look at the water quality here, it's 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 pretty good. And what's that broken ass chair? Hell yeah, I'll take that chair. Uh, while the water quality is great and the swimming is great. The actual star of this is using your boat. The boat is an amazing tool that we'll see here in a little bit. 
All right, so Copper Bond's going to help us walk through all the quests for getting the workshop up and running right now. Very important. You want to be able to start crafting things such as, you know, beds and whatnot so your villagers have a place to sleep. Because right now they're all living in tents, just hanging out in sand. That's no way to live. Unless, you know, the animal that they are is something that would live in sand. Then maybe. Alright, we got our second tool. Second tool in what? It's only been like 10 minutes in this game? That's crazy, right? Uh, so another thing that's really great about this game is you don't need to switch from one tool to the next. It will automatically... If you hit E or click on like something, it will automatically take out the tool that you need to break it down. Which is just wonderful, right? Because if you've ever played like Stardew Valley or any of those other like survival, like farming game things, you have to always like be scrolling on your wheels to get to your like pickaxe or your axe. Not in this game. Not in this game. Yep. <sighs> Don't worry, dude. I will I will fix this place up. Not a problem. Metal, and I do not have enough wood. Oh, embarrassing. Now I do. Sorry, that was awkward. This has never happened before. I usually always have enough wood. All right, now while he is fixing that, there should be person coming to talk to me about a different quest to do. I'll look at that. If it isn't the local I don't like you or anything. Hey, I just run into you. No, 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 no. Words. You can read all this in your free time, guys. I'm not going to read it for you. This is something you should do by buying the game and supporting the content creators. Content creators? Creators of the game. You should support me by just watching. You know. You're already doing it. If you're here and you're watching this, uh, I got you. Gotcha. This is your message board. This is where you're going to get all your quests. Isn't that exciting? Quests are good. Quests are good to give you money. And with money, you can buy things. Okay? If I need to explain what money does to you, we might have problems. All right. Message in a bottle. It's a treasure map. Shocker. What do you got to say about that? Turns out that, uh... Neither me or him, despite having claws, are very good at digging. So we're going to have to... He's going to go for a run, I guess. What is he thinking about? Uh, Fry, what do you want? I just want to talk, dude. Uh, well, the dragon could kill them. What? I mean, it was just you're not supposed to wake up a sleepwalker. I think it was the sleepwalker. Okay, well, I'm sorry, dude. I just... thought it was crazy that you changed clothes in front of me. Usually that's like a second date type of thing. Alright, so since we can't dig, we have to talk to this guy. He's an old pirate, and what do pirates do? They dig up and bury treasure, so he will know how to make a shovel. That is the logic that this game uses. Pretty straightforward. And lo and behold, shovel. I don't think I have enough wood to make said shovel, but whatever. We got a shovel blueprint. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough uh, wood to make a shovel. Hey, Ozempic. Alright, where are we going? We cut down these to make a, uh, a wood. That's a plank. Don't need plank. I need, I need like, actual wood wood. Okay, well, that was a mistake. I think these give you wood. Pretty sure. And sap, apparently. I need more than what I got, though. Oh, resin. It's resin, not sap. How could I be so foolish? There we go. Craft yourself a shovel, and that is the three basic starting items that you will need for most of the game. So, already, what was that? 15 minutes into the game, and you've gotten all your, uh, your equipment. You've learned how to, like, use them for the most part. Pretty quick, pretty easy game. Not uh, not crazy. Nothing too 
crazy. And you dig up treasure. See how easy that was? It's really nice. They do have... It's loud. If you ever do find treasure maps, they are really easy to find. They show you on the map where they'll be, and then they have a giant green arrow that's like, hey, it's going to be right here. Right here. So, easy. Uh, one other thing that's really cool about this game is if you've ever played any of those farm... Oh, hey. Hey, sorry. What's up, dude? Ah, uh, completely knackered. You've been working so hard, you must have forgotten to take care of yourself. Yeah, he's going to teach me how to eat. Kind of ironic. Eat and sleep. That's... Yeah, I bet you have a lot of experience with that in your past life. Actually, being a cat, all cats do, right? You have more to say? Nope, he's just... He's just... Wow, he's just breaking it down. I haven't seen thrusting like this since... Never mind. All right. Ooh, sometimes you can dig up equipment from the beach. Also, these right here. You see these, like, signs? These hieroglyphs on the wall? These are going to unlock new recipes. So it's important to go look at. Have a have a breakthrough. Oh, look at that. I've learned how to make furniture work table. How impressive. And this is the last part for the boat. It is a tub. Listen. If you haven't noticed the aesthetic so far, we are kind of a rundown little beach. Little little tropical area, so obviously I'm not going to have like a speedboat or anything. I'm going to have a tub powered by a lawnmower. I know how this sounds. You know how this sounds. The game thinks this sounds completely normal. So we'll go over here. We'll give him all we need for the boat. Oh, look at that. He's so excited. Now he's going to tell us to go talk to the mayor of the town to get heads up on what we're supposed to do with this boat. But the last thing I want to do is tell him about also the fact that I dug up that treasure. And he's going to give me a sick pirate hat. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I like how my whiskers uh, come through. Or eye, eyebrow lashes, whatever you want to call it. But I, I still don't like it. I'm not. I'm not big on that hat, so we're gonna we're gonna put that away, along with some of our other equipment. I also want to talk to the mayor. And he's gonna tell you that there are shipwrecked people out on the islands. That you need to go get. Bring them back here. And put them to work. Sounds a little yes. sketchy. Come down here and talk to Copperbottom, who is gonna be super excited that Hey! Everything's completed down here. We can start working on our factory. I don't know what that noise was. That sounded exciting, though. All right, first thing with the cooking station, I can put out right here. So, like I said, you can not take food from outside of your inventory, but you can take fuel. And what's one of the greatest things you should burn? Trash. That's right. Now, the way that the cooking in this game works, you have to immediately experiment with items. So I don't actually know what cooking a berry will do. I do. You don't. So you have to experiment first to see what something makes. And hey, look at that. I learned that it makes jam. Now, there are two ways I can do this. I can keep just experimenting by putting like two berries, three berries, or I can click on this, find out that just one fruit is going to make a jam, and I can cook it, and then I can cook all of it that's in my inventory, which is great. So there we go, we're going to cook a whole stack, which is going to cook it twice as fast. Well, actually, like 16 times as fast, since I made 16 of them. The other thing is, uh, I know how to make this recipe. Uh, it's the most important recipe to learn right away. It's the three drumsticks. That's going to make you a meat jumbly, jum, jum, jamboree, whatever. Uh, that's going to be an entire full stamina bar. It's just going to max it out. So that's really important. It's really good to know that. I'm going to come down here, and we're going to talk to the old Sharky Poo. He's going to give us our ship that he built. Isn't that nice? And we're going to name it. We're going to name... We can actually name our ship, and we're going to call it... The Friendship. 
If you didn't see that name coming, then you clearly do not know the name of the channel. Friendship and Violence. Come on. Come on. The name wrote itself, guys. Yeah, of course I want to name it that, but you can change it later, so don't worry too much, you know? Let's just, let's just stay chill. Let's stay relaxed a little bit. Got it. So the map is going to tell you where different quests are. Uh, currently we have one to go find a new citizen. New villager, whatever you want to call him. And the other one is to go find a blueprint for a resource finder. Uh, in my opinion, the resource finder is kind of unnecessary. If you want it, go get it. If not, don't worry about it. Ooh. Salvage. Again, this is mostly just going to be, for now, until the game adds more stuff. It's going to be sugar and flour and salt. All right, look at that. Isn't That was exciting. Good times. But look how nice this boat works and like how the water looks. It's really pretty. The game, the game does look great. All right, let's see who our first uh, first villager is going to be. Looks like some sort of bunny girl named Sniff. Yeah, that, that checks out. Sounds a little gross, but whatever. All right, so apparently she is looking for help getting stuff off the ocean floor. Easy enough. While you're here, you may as well also just restock up on some meat. You're gonna need it, make some more meat dishes so you don't have to ever sleep. All right, so let's give this back to her. Ah, yes, I found your lost chest, don't you worry. 20% wetter than usual. Excellent, excellent. I'm glad I could give you back your damp stuff. And of course, she'll give me a gift in return, which is nice. Flowers tea. Hey, why don't you come back and live in the town that I live in? It's a great idea. Let's see what this flower t-shirt looks like. Ooh. Ooh, if you're into that, you would be so happy right now, but I'm not. So, anyways. Back to being naked. Back to town I go. And you just gotta talk to her. She has one more request for living here, and that is... That's right, a tent to live on the beach, like the rest of the people who have tents. So, in order to make a tent, you are going to need some cloth. We don't have any cloth, and you have to make it in the loom. Don't know how to make the loom yet. That's going to be some stuff that you have to do the factory quest for, but before we do that, we're going back to that island, actually, because there's one more villager on that island hidden away if you can find him. Or her. Or they. Horton, who are you? <gasps> I think I know who this is. It's S'more! Listen, if you name a character after one of my favorite foods, obviously they're going to be my favorite person. And I'm here to help her. Just got to break her out of jail. Not a problem. Or the tide comes in, and she is uh, in some trouble. Easy peasy. Ah, oh, there. So easy. So easy. Caveman can do it. And she's going to give me... What did she just give me? A windmill. Alright. Alright. That's cool. Uh, why don't you come back to... Come back to my house? Not like that. Not like that. Not what I meant. 